What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Coach Nostra back at you guys with another sneaker review, unboxing, and of course that on feet. Let's get into it. Alright guys, coming at you guys a little bit late with this one, um, have just been super busy. I actually picked these things up the day after release day, so we're probably a week and a half behind at this point. The Nike Zoom Freak 1, the colorway is Noble Red slash Black and Blue in a size 11, guys. This, of course, is the All Bros Part 2. Let's check this pair out. And fam, there we go in hand, the Nike Zoom Freak 1 in the All Brothers Part 2 colorway. These are pretty tough, man. I definitely dig this colorway personally. Right up there, probably a number two or number three favorite colorway. That has actually dropped widespread as a GR and hit shelves. My favorite was that All Bros Part 1 colorway. I just think that the orange and the blue and everything just really meshed well on that colorway. And if you were a fan of that colorway or if you're familiar with the color blocking and what they did, especially Especially with the gradients on the midsole then guys you should be familiar with the color blocking on this particular pair as well instead of the orange and the blue that dominated the part one guys part two is coming at you with that noble red upper all over the shoe whether it's the toe box the lateral portion the heel portion the medial portion all over the shoe and even a decent chunk of that midsole is gonna be noble red guys Contrast that with the bright crimson laces, the bright crimson tongue, the inner sock liner. You've got a Nike swoosh on the medial portion of the sneaker, which is also crimson. And then again, some hits of crimson on that gradient midsole. And then where the actual pods with the roses on the outsole come into play, that crimson really, really kind of plays off the noble red quite well, in my opinion. And guys, just for a little bit more added distinction, on the forefoot portion of this sneaker, you're going to see these sort of nude pale kind of yellow colored material there are these bands that the actual laces lace through on the first two laces of the sneaker the thing that I think is really cool about them is they actually contrast with the actual noble red a little bit and beneath the mesh portion of the noble red on the medial and lateral portions of the shoe you can't actually see those internal bands underneath the mesh which I think is really cool and adds some more contrast to the shoe. I'd like to maybe see them on some future colorways, try to do something a little bit different. You do have some areas of that shoe that you could kind of maybe potentially color block differently. So it'll be interesting to see what they do going forward because honestly guys, a lot of these colorways have been fairly plain in terms of the mesh upper. It's really been the swoosh and the outsole and the midsole that's really, really sold these colorways so far. What might be the most eye-catching feature of this silhouette is gonna be that enlarged reverse swoosh on the lateral portion of the sneaker. On this colorway, guys, you've got a black swoosh with that sort of pale nude yellow speckling inside the swoosh, which I think is cool. They've always kind of spiced up these swooshes on every colorway, and this one's no different. They didn't hit you with that all black swoosh. Even on that lucid green colorway, the all black swoosh had sort of a graphite kind of texture to it, almost like a grip tape kind of feel or look to it. As we touched on before, guys, you got the crimson pods on that outsole, which feature the roses, and are also supposed to feature a lot of like multi-directional traction to really give you the ability and the grip to go forward and backwards and then also to make those lateral pivots and stuff like that that are always so key on a basketball floor of course a lot of the themes and things that are important such as family and his brothers and brotherhood are going to be featured all over this silhouette all over this shoe all over the outsole the midsole and this colorway in particular was actually designed by Giannis's older brother story is that back in the day they used to actually share shoes during games and that nowadays they won't have to do that because he got to design his own colorway guys of the Zoom Freaks. All in all, these are pretty tough, especially compared to some of the planar iterations that we've seen of this sneaker. I really hope to see more from this sneaker going forward because I personally am a fan of this sneaker. I know I've heard some gripes about the sneaker, but honestly guys, to me, this is a dope entry shoe for Giannis. Um, definitely something to be proud of and something I think in the future that people will be kicking themselves for sleeping on some of these. Let's check these things out on feet, guys. As always, thank you for supporting me and checking out my videos. Much love to each and every one of you guys. Y'all know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll definitely hit y'all back. Stay blessed, fam. Much love. Peace.